Understanding how you're part of a whole, I think, gives you perspective. One thing is uh, with learning and with humility, because you understand that you're only as good as the whole. That can help you and influence how you make your decisions. Welcome back. My name is Monica K. Creativity is in business. We are going to talk about, you know, how do we make sense of systems? How do we think about system thinking? And what in the world is that? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Ramin. Uh, Tell me a little bit more about how you first got interested in this whole work. The I think my interest in systems and systems dynamic come from I mean, being a person, <laughs> I think first and foremost is that I see how everything is tied together. I always felt like, you know, you're part of a family. So that's one part that you're, you're a member of a school. So when you're a kid, so then you're like, that's also my identity. You might like a sports team. So then you're also part of that system. Um, there's so many systems and pieces and organizations that we're a part of that make us. And I've always been fascinated by that. Like, why should I even care about that as a leader? And yeah, what do I do with it? Yeah, it's a good question. I think because you can just like, cool, I can understand the philosophy. Um, we're all connected, blah, blah, blah. That's nice. Um, <laughs> on the whole level, uh, which I think we can see and we want to see in global cooperation or even regional cooperation, even neighborhood cooperation, when people understand systems, we can help each other more. And life is better when we help each other. <laughs> this is my bias, but I also think that when things work together and you can uh, help your fellow man, uh, we all live a better life. And there's an economic principle behind that too of comparative advantage that so there's always an advantage of helping others. But I think on a philosophical level, it just makes sense. Let's dig a little bit deeper. So for somebody who's like, okay, I, I get it, but um, like, why is that important for me to understand as an individual? Because I feel that what I'm hearing from your conversation is that, is it because it, probably impacts the way you see and frame opinions and especially in cases when we consume so much online and the way we see the world could you share a little bit more about that and how that per connects to your interest in creativity and design thinking and all that who are you as a person and how does that uh what um what themes and what trends are you a part of what i tell my students and one thing that i, I think we do in exercise is think of something concrete because I think if you think of it as a philosophical idea, it's really stressful. Um, you're like, I like, what do you wear every day? So clothes maybe. You're like, uh, I like my jeans, where are they from? What systems are involved with that jeans? You're like, I just go to the Gap and I buy my jeans. Like it's done. Okay. You're like, yes, but there's like all these people and all these hands that it goes through. There's pollution that's involved from making the jeans. And do those things affect you? You're like, no, but also yes. Because if we could, it, you could do a, a large mind map and understand how everything affects each other. Or you can understand that basically if something is as simple as your genes affects probably thousands of lives. I know it sounds a little wow. bit ridiculous, but if you're yeah. thinking of everything that you're probably like, even the banana you got and because of globalization is from probably thousands of miles away. Yeah. So with, even within your house, if you take an exercise of looking around what's around you, you could probably name, probably 10 to 20 countries that have made the products or and thousands and thousands of people that have touched all of the things that are in your house. Like in front of me is my markers and some cups and coffee. And I can tell you right now, it's probably between probably 20 different countries represented on my table right now. Um, and the components within your phone or in your computer in itself. So like, and people are like, well, that's just production. Like, how does that affect me? And you're like, well, as much as we want to separate ourselves from the society and from the systems that we're a part of, it does affect us. And I think in times of crisis or times of stress, natural disasters, disasters, uh, you, people kind of can get little feelings of, yeah, clearly, like, I feel something, even when it's not happening to me. And I think the same as climate change if someone sees like a rainforest burning generally we all feel yeah. something and it's an interesting phenomena but we we can't separate ourselves we try everything we can to be as individual and separate as possible but so as we wrap up thank you so so much i hope all of you found it helpful help going to a perspective which is only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. And this is T.S. Eliot. And I think that's the same probably in our desire of wanting to learn whether it's new thinking approaches, diving deeper into how we relate to one another, and maybe even just understanding who's your neighbor across the street uh, and see how you relate to it. And so thank you so, so much for joining us. And thank you all for joining. See you back in great.
creativity is in business. <laughs> So I can explain a little bit about this. My wife and I still do a children's class with kids uh, over Zoom. So we've been doing an art project with them. What color would you like to choose to dive into Spark today? Would they They're with their parents 24 seven. I mean, <laughs> which they love, right? But they need to, I think any attention you can give to kids and creativity. This is a weird time and this is a long time for kids. Dun, dun, yeah, water. <laughs> <laughs>